All right, let's do a side-by-side -side on the new release Space Clipper from 2017 compared to the 2011 release. Now remember, this release was retooled a little bit and improved better engine detail and wing detail plus some other minor improvements. So let's look at them side by side. Of course the instructions are different. Alright, here's the engine detail. New release on the left, older release on the right. All right, here's the wing comparison. What I've noticed with the wing comparison is definitely finer, more crisp detail was engineered into this compared to the older version. Also what I noticed was they scaled the wing thickness, thickness down so you can see the old issue is a lot thicker than the newer issue. So they're a lot thinner, more accurate. Here's the rear empennage and they appear to be the same. The left side being the new tool, right side old. If you turn them over though, there's little differences in the, the backside tooling. The old one had part numbers on the inside, whereas the new one does not. I've noticed more uh, mold release agent on this too, the discoloration there on the newer one. Here's the other side of the empennage pods. And I noticed that the panel lines appear to be a little more well-defined. Left side being the new tool, right side the old. Definitely a difference in the panel line. A little more defined. And once again on the wing, this is the lower wing, or the upper wing section. The only difference I've noticed here is it's thinner. So the newer release wing is actually thinner than the older. Everything else looks the same. These look a little more defined and more sunk in on the newer release than the old. Here's the rear bulkhead, right before where the engine pods are. Left side's the new tool, right side's the old. Now if you notice, they left out something. The old tool has detail, doors, some structure. The new one has none. Here's the engine inlets. The new tool, new version, is on the left, the old version on the right. You can see on the new version, it's not as rounded, it's more squared off on top. Engine exhaust, almost exactly the same. New version on the left versus the old version on the right. And they appear to be almost exactly the same. Newer release on the bottom, older release on top. Note, note that there is a panel missing here on the newer release. And 
looks like everything is more crisp and the wing cut off the wing leading edge is thinner so this is missing on the new release this is smaller and it's more rounded on the fuselage here more defined crisper detail no panel here smaller for the wings and more rounded here's the right side of the fuselage the bottom one is the new release the top is 2011 release and just like the other parts the panel lines and details are more crisp along with the smaller leading edge for the wing and more rounded on top Also, the new release is uh, has more mold release agent evident on the parts. So make sure you wash these up really good before you go to paint. And there's part numbers on the old one versus the new. There are no part numbers. Part numbers for these are now on the trees. Okay, instead of on the parts. I mocked up the fuselages, taped them together on both both uh, samples. The bottom would be the new release, the top is the old release. There are some differences in this fuselage, so that, that's telling me that this was retooled. The bottom one has some repositioning rocket deflectors on the top. Whereas the old one does not have that. I also noticed more crisper detail with the panel lines. But look at this. The new release is squared off on top. The old is more rounded. It appears to be a little taller on the aft fuselage. And like I was saying, there's no longer a panel on the new release, which is on top here, versus the old release. Even the main windshield cutout looks a little different. No panel on the new release versus the old release. Old release has this panel in here the new one does not. Here are the decals. The newer release on the left versus the older release on the right. Um, the newer release appears to be higher quality decal film. And obviously Everything appears a little more crisper and well-defined. So if we take these, for example, these two, and you can just see the differences between the two. Versus those two together.
here are different. So they did improve the decal sheet. And lastly are the windows. New release on the left, old release on the right. And they appear to be almost the same. The windows on the new release all have kind of a bubble effect to them. Kind of a bubble appearance within the glass. versus the old one. It has the bubble effect in a few pieces of the glass, but like this top one here, I don't see a bubble effect in the in the, the glass as compared to the bottom where I see a bubble effect in it. But they they really do appear to be the same otherwise. So there you have it. That was a side-by-side -side comparison of both space clippers from this year's 2017 release compared to 2011 release. This is a new tool. I wouldn't say it's just uh, improved. It's a new tool. They did a lot of work on the wings themselves, the fuselage, the engine detail, the decals, the instructions. Every part, it seems like, was fixed up and improved a little more. So it is a new tool improved kit. I would like to thank each and every one of you for watching my videos. Without you I couldn't do this. Please subscribe, like, and comment below. Happy modeling everybody. Uh -huh.